Hey Collective, hi, how are you? How is everyone doing? So, um, I have a birthday coming up July 2nd and um, a friend of mine who is also uh, a spiritual um, creator uh, slash like sh um, she is uh, a healer and reader has told me that um, she wanted me to uh, put my Amazon wish list back up in the description box. So I'm just putting it up there because I was asked to put it in the description box for anybody who wanted to celebrate my birthday with me. <laughs> it's no pressure, you don't have to, but I did make a promise that I would say that. And I'm going to ask her to um, leave a comment to let you guys know that she did ask me to do that and I'm not just on here asking for stuff. So, <laughs> okay. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter and um, I do have the fan on. It is hot and I do know a few of you said that you don't mind the fan, so I'm just going to leave it on, but I have no problem cutting it off if it's interfering at all. Um, because I want to make sure that you guys um, don't have any distractions when you're listening to the messages. So, um, okay. Um, I wanted uh, I want to talk to you guys about doing a marathon. Um, so, would love to do like a, a weekend marathon and just upload several videos. Um, but if I do that. You guys have, uh, you'll only get three notifications from me a day. So if I do that, you're gonna have to like look for the other ones once they're posted. So um, anyways, okay. Also, if you are wanting your own personal private reading, you can always send me an email and I am offering right now um, a mini uh, past life reading. It's six cards and it's um, 10 bucks. So. All you have to do is just um, uh, send the payment and then send me a screenshot of your payment. Just, um, you know, the directions will be in the, e in the email, in the description box if you're interested. And then also I do other more in-depth readings as well. So give me just a moment because I do need to turn a fan around facing me because it is so hot and like, I'm uh, hopefully going to get another air conditioner soon. Oh, that feels so much better, but um, it might be a little bit louder now for you guys since I did turn it around, but I was afraid that if I had it turned around to me um, that it might be like, too loud and you guys would click right off the video. But if you're um, if this message is for you, you're not going to click right off anyways. You're going to feel drawn to stay and listen. So I know that this message will reach those that it's meant for. So today we're going to get messages from galactic fairies um, slash uh, spirit guides and your higher self. So um, if you kind of resonate vibe with fairies, um, then you might want to stick around or if you just want to see like what your higher self has to say stick around um let's go ahead and clear out the energy and connect to our spirit guides our higher selves and to the fairies and galactic fairies Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Higher Light Beings, Fairies, Galactic Fairies. Thank you, Benevolent Galactic Ancestors and Galactic Beings. 
I call to you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that find their way here. I thank you for accurately and clearly allowing me to hear, see, feel, and know the messages that you have today. Thank you for using each and every one of the decks of cards that I use here today as tools to communicate, to bring forth honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that are only from the divine and only of a place from <laughs> for the highest good and to the harm of none. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Namaste. I think I was getting ready to say from a place of love and then I got twisted on my words. So, so sorry about that, you guys. But the divine understands, the divine knows. I'm going to get a quick sip of water. Then that last reading I did where I saw that you guys were merfolk in past life. That was so flipping cool. I just love that, um, that that message came through. And uh, were you guys able to see the card where it showed the mermaids on it? Because when I watched it on my end, I don't know if it was like um, the YouTube acting up or if it was my phone acting up, but it seemed pretty blurry. So I don't know if you guys got to see that or not. But thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, spirit rights, higher light beings, fairies, fairies. Okay, I'm seeing travel for someone. Now this could either be you traveling or like you're dealing with someone that could be traveling. Maybe someone traveling to you or someone like traveling away from you. You know, maybe someone's moving out, moving in, or like someone's coming to see you, or like you're moving, you're traveling, maybe going on vacation, um, or uh, relocating. But there is like movement that I am seeing for many of you. Whoa, okay, let's see what that is. So we have autumn here, okay, and, um, and it says here, in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So like, okay, you may be dealing with um, a situation right now that maybe it feels uncertain. Um, uh, I'm also seeing too someone getting like, you're, you're going to be receiving like some sort of um, clarity or like a, a, an idea um, for like maybe a project or something, but like that maybe happens like around autumn season um that reaps a lot of success or abundance here for you um but like also if you're dealing with a challenging situation you can expect that by autumn things are finally going to um fall into place for you uh, or like whatever it is that you're currently dealing with right now you can expect that i mean i feel like this is going to happen before then but by autumn things are really just going to be um back to normal or like things are going to start to like fall you know everything's just falling into place and like settled in type of energy uh if you're dealing with any kind of conflicts maybe with regards to like family or co-workers or anything like that by autumn things are really going to be a, a lot more uh smooth sailing okay um so you know how you can um smell when the seasons are changing do you are you do you guys notice that like um you can just smell in the air that the seasons are changing um so I feel like once you start to smell autumn coming, you're going to, that's when you're going to know, okay, everything, if you haven't already seen everything start to fall into place, then by the time you start to smell autumn, you can rest assured that everything is going to start to fall into place if it hasn't already. Um, there's a lot of healing energy around you right now. Um, also, we've got easy does it. So some of you may need to like 
stop trying to like um, control everything or like micromanage things or like um, worrying or stressing out or like you're overdoing it in some area and really just um, taking time to kind of um, surrender, rest, um, and and allow yourself this time to, to kind of heal. Um, because once you do, there's new doors that are going to be opening for you. Get some exercise. Ooh, look. So um, some of you, we got the healer again. And then look, easy does it. So it's like, get some exercise. And then um, this, your wish granted card is try was trying to come out too. But it was down there. Um, so we're just going to read the bottom here. But it's like, get some exercise, move your body, dance, flow. Um, your body becomes, as your body becomes stronger, you begin to f feel stronger in all ways. Um, so if you haven't been uh, feeling well, you know, make sure that you're resting, but also like exercising, moving your body, maybe doing some yoga, because that's the first thing that came to mind, or maybe you already are doing some yoga. Pilates, I literally just heard Pilates for some of you, um, or like actually just maybe walking. Walking is some of the best exercises you can do, and I've actually been wanting to like get more into like coming up with a routine to get out and walk more um and take my dogs walking i just i'm afraid that the um, sidewalk might be too hot for their feet um so i don't know maybe like just start walking them in the evenings or something um through the neighborhood and then we got new career i've got a new attitude that that you know that song from the 80s that song i literally just started hearing it um some of you are uh your career your work focus is shifting in a positive new and successful direction so this may not be an act like an actual like new career maybe some of you this is like a promotion um pay raise maybe you are going in a whole new direction with with your career you know maybe you are going to be um uh, or thinking about like making some changes jazzing things up um in your career um but I really feel like things are really about to take off for you, especially with career by autumn. But autumn here, this autumn card does represent um, reaping rewards. You know, it's that harvest, har harvest season. So it's like all of your hard work is paying off, especially with regards to career. You are headed to a whole new successful direction um, with your career, there is, you are going, if you're looking for a job, you're going to get the job. If you're, um, or you're going to get a job very soon. If you're looking for a job, if you're wanting to get that promotion, that looks like a very positive omen for you guys, um, with the, with this new career card. Some of you may be dealing with like a toxic work environment or, like there's a lot of jealousy um or like maybe someone trying to throw you under the bus or um yeah um but i but regardless like because i saw the devil card but regardless i do see that there are people celebrating uh some success here for you like you are about to be more successful than you could have ever thought possible because um, I, um, when I split the deck, I had the Empress on one side and the Three of Cups on the other. So you you do have people celebrating your successes with you. Like there are people getting excited, like like saying, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, congratulations, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. These are all um, words that Spirit's giving me that I'm hearing right now, but look, there's someone that wants your spot. There's someone or even others that see your spot, see your throne, and like want it. But the thing is, is they can't have your spot because you've got something that they don't have. Either like you've got some sort of an experience or you've got skills or you've got like um, 
uh, seniority or even if you don't their mate you know what somebody even like there's someone that might be jealous because they might have like the sen the seniority at your company um, but like you just got something that they ain't so you get promoted but regardless like you may have to like really fight to keep your spot but you're still you're not you're not being knocked off your throne you're not going to be you know because even though those hungry people want your spot they just can't have it you know because there's only one you collective that's it nobody else can do it like you can so can you give me some more information please spirit for the collective regarding this reading okay so like also too like if you're in the public eye let's just say you have like some sort of platform here because this is what spirit is showing me right now um i'm seeing the six of wands in my mind's eye and then there's the ace of wands right here that's that idea here there's like um uh some sort of something here that you're very passionate about okay it's like you're feeling like that fire in your belly okay um but regardless um the reason why I said spotlight is because you see all this light here radiating off this person. So you are in the spotlight, whether or not that's the public eye or not, okay? But this is your time to shine. Um, the shining ones just uh, popped up in my head too. Um, I don't know if that is like the, you know, from the biblical days, the shining ones, or if that is like the movie, The Shining um i don't know uh but the that movie the shining just kind of popped up in my head too um for a reason but anyway so that might be significant to somebody maybe you've watched it um or it's like something that you love also someone is really really loves the second one the um doctor um doctor sleep or something like that anyways but like you're in the spotlight here and there's someone that's seeing you in all your glory seeing you shine and is just very jealous but don't worry about that don't focus on those people focus on the ones that are congratulating you that are celebrating you the two of pentacles here so you may be also two with the five of swords there may be like some conflict disagreements regarding money or bills or like you know like um things are um unbalanced here okay or like finances are, are up and down and um there may be like some i just heard legal dispute so i don't know what that's about but i literally just heard legal dispute um so there could be like some sort of financial legal dispute for for someone watching uh, and there is no uh this reading is like whenever you find it it's the right time so it's not like a weekly horoscope or anything like that it's messages that you need when you see this but with that two of pentacles like i am seeing uh something here like um uh, very much focused on your finances right now and maybe there is more um like going out than there is coming in or like there's a lot coming in but there's also a lot going out as well that you're dealing with But regardless, like, um, some of you may even, like, be dealing with, like, like, going through some sort of emotional roller coaster right now. And whatever this is, whether or not this, you're, there's some sort of conflict or challenge, because that's what I was seeing when this autumn card first came out. But, um, whether this is financial, whether this is in your mind, you're, like, really feeling, um, uh, um, mentally overwhelmed or conflicted regarding your finances or maybe a partnership or bills um, but whatever this is um, or family but whatever this is it's like um, you could be dealing with like a family situation or like a um, whatever this is for you because it's general it's collective and I'm just giving you the messages that I'm receiving whatever this is for you things are about to stable out for you um, especially in the autumn season but you are things are going to balance out for you and things are going to become you know more stable especially with finances and your emotions more like emotionally stable huh huh I 
we just need to get a sip of water. And um, going back and forth between your head and your heart right now, you know, or, um, with the Queen of Cups here and the King of Swords, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, some of you could be dealing with an air sign, um, but I definitely feel um, things are a bit up and down right now. Um, like with this king of swords here oh you could be dealing look we've got a king of swords and the king of cups here some of you could be like dealing with um trying to make a decision between a water sign and an air sign or like you could be going back and forth or like dealing with like two different masculine energies this is just for a few of you <clears throat> but I am seeing like you could potentially um, <clears throat> really be undecided, you know, because we do have the two of pentacles. This could be like maybe you have a choice regarding like um, a partner, a romantic partner, you know, um, trying to, you know, going back and forth between these two romantic partners, whether you're the male or the female, it doesn't matter gender doesn't matter here but um but regardless like you have a some sort of choice to make maybe even like some of you are like trying to decide um about trying to make a decision but um regarding like the future of your relationship um maybe it's not really working anymore and you need to ask yourself like if you're willing to like put the effort in like maybe you're just like not sure if you're ready to continue putting the effort into the relationship. I also feel like some of you have really got a lot on your pl plate right now. Like you're really trying to juggle between work and home and family. And like you've just got so much going on right now. Just so much on your plate. And you feel like you're just... Um, uh, just juggling, you know, and maybe feel like if you don't put something down, you could end up falling, you know, crash and burn. And so spirit is also saying here with this queen of cups and then right here with the get some exercise to really nurture yourself, to take care of yourself right now, needing to really make yourself a priority at this time. Some of you may need to like go and like just get a checkup with your doctor. Um, you know, just taking care of yourself, just take care of yourself, drinking plenty of fluids, getting plenty of water in, drinking plenty of water. Um, and, and water does, coffee does not count as water. <laughs> I know, I wish it did too because you guys know I love my coffee. So, um, you know, drink your coffee, that's fine. You know, I'm the last one to tell you not to drink coffee. Uh, some of you may actually be trying to cut down on your coffee, and I drink my coffee black. I don't want no cream, no sugar, no nothing. I have not ever drank it. I have, well, I mean, I've had sips of it, but I do not like the taste of sugar and cream in my coffee. I just don't like it. But if you do, you know, maybe, like um, just put um, like low fat creamer or like, um, I don't know if sugar substitute is good. I'm not a nutritionist, maybe talk to a nutritionist, but 
um, or try to drink it black if you can. Um, but anyways, regardless, this is not a nutrition reading, but just doing things that you can to get as much water in you as possible. Get a checkup with your doctor. Make yourself a priority right now. Um, nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Give yourself some TLC right now because you need it. Because things are really about to pick up big time, especially in your career. I mean, like... Um, yes, you've probably already got a lot going on, but this is a lot in like a good way. Like you're just bringing in tons of abundance, you know, you're, you're, you're just glowing and you're, um, and if you're not now, you're, you're about to be. Whoa, the judgment card. Look, somebody here is making a decision for you on you on you a decision there are people looking at you want like like con really considering you right now considering you for a job a promotion a pay raise this is something you deserve you deserve this there um i'm also too seeing someone um health care Okay, I'm seeing someone in healthcare, maybe, uh, and of course, not every single one of you are in healthcare, but I am seeing someone that's in the healthcare field. Um, I'm seeing, uh, I don't know if like you're already in the healthcare field and you're deciding on like maybe you're not satisfied with the healthcare field anymore and you're deciding to go a new direction or you're going to stay in the healthcare field but do something different. Um, but regardless, um, I do see that. Um, <clears throat> anyways with this new career it's like um a decision here is being made for you you may feel as though you're not being noticed or that you're not being chosen but but you are like you're being evaluated right now the universe also is evaluating you and all the hard work that you've done to get to where you're going you know, I feel like a lot of you are like you're in the running for some sort of promotion and, and, oh, and some of you may not even know it. Like, there are higher ups, someone that is above you in some form or fashion that is evaluating you, evaluating your work, and you don't even know it. So, um, but regardless, regardless, you're being watched. But this isn't a very, po this isn't a positive way that I'm, I'm picking up. This could even be like, um maybe uh something from your past coming back up again okay for some of you with the six of cups this could also look we've got the two of wands this is that new direction here shift things are shifting in a positive new direction this is like you um um blowing people's socks off right now you are blowing someone's socks off right now whether it's because you're in the public eye or because you're being evaluated but it's like you uh are channeling divine uh uh creative energy right here with the six of cups and and the two of wands and just um blowing people's socks off there's some sort of creative endeavor here that you are but you're like moving into something that you're going to feel more creative with some of you this is like the past coming back up again all right this is like maybe a past job offer or maybe something you used to do in the past or something that you've always wanted to do but haven't really done it yet or you know something along those lines but regardless it's like um really be careful like dress to impress right now you know um because there are people there's someone here watching you evaluating you you know so dress to impress um you never know who's watching you what what higher up is watching you you know um uh cross all your t's and dot all your i's because someone here is um wanting to like invest in you i don't know um a decision here being made maybe you have a decision to make okay i 
want to not look i stopped shuffling i felt drawn i needed to stop shuffling and get another deck um i wanted to get an oracle deck and i look at the bottom of the deck because i just felt drawn to and look it's the nine of pentacles you are look you are being chosen you're getting some sort of this is the promotion this is someone here deciding on you evaluating you making a decision to promote you give you this pay raise or this is people that are evaluating you watching your work seeing how much how hard you work to get to where you are um, making a decision here choosing you you're being chosen this is like the universe choosing you to receive this abundance here because you've worked for it you've earned it damn damn You know what, since this really kind of turned more into like career, I'm going to get a couple of cards from here for you guys. So it's like you're going to go from uh, kind of, you know, um, not necessarily struggling. Some of you, maybe you have been struggling financially, but you've just really had to um, budget. I mean, a lot of people have to budget, but you um, especially have had to really budget um, you've had to prioritize. There's been things uh, coming in. You've had to like make very like really make good financial decisions. Okay, like okay, well I can't go buy this because this is due this week. Or like I I, ha I need to decide like am I going to buy this this week and this next week or am I going to do this or you know. But now you're moving into a time where you're not going to have to worry about that you're not going to have to worry about well how am i going to have to am i going to have enough to buy this and buy this or should i do this and this or should i wait to do this and do do that no you're not going to have to worry about that you're moving into a new direction here where um you have this abundance because you worked for it. Because what comes before the Nine of Pentacles is the Eight of Pentacles. Look, this is a new beginning here for you. This is financial freedom. Shut up. And literally, that just goes with what I was just saying. You know, no more restrictions on should I buy this or buy that. This is financial freedom. Okay, maybe even like um, buying a, like um, property, buying a home, buying a car whatever this is for you like no more having to worry about well let me check the price tag on that i mean of course like you're not gonna um just go in and like i mean it's not like you're gonna have like private jet money possible you could i'm not gonna put that out there because you must certainly could yes you could be like private jet money but i'm just saying like to be more realistic here in the reading what i'm seeing is is that this is luxurious money this is money where you're not going to have to worry about, should I buy this or buy that? This is money where you're going to, you know, not have to worry about, um, is my checking account overdrawn this week? Or, you know, um, or um, you're just going to be able to, if you see it and you want it, you're going to be able to get it. And you're not going to have to check to see if you have enough to, to do this or to do that. That's what I'm seeing here for you. So if you were drawn to this reading and any of this resonates for you, this is what you can expect. This is what I'm seeing coming in. Like I'm seeing, um, look right now, you you may be saving your money right now, you know, um, really trying to, to make sure that you have enough money to pay the at the end of the week, pay a bill at the end of the week or pay this or pay that. You may be in this place right now of saving your money with this protection card, but we've got the matrix. So it's like you are um, seeing through the matrix. You're seeing how, how to really manifest and breaking that matrix to live this abundant lifestyle. People are gonna be wondering how you did it. How did they do it? Is there any other messages you can give us here regarding the collective here. Show me clearly, please. Show me clearly, please. The Matrix. The Matrix. Hell yes. 
Like you here, you're seeing through it. You're seeing all the possibilities. You are breaking the matrix. You're connected with the divine. Okay. And you are, some of you may have like some sacred work that you do. Okay. Maybe you are like healers, um, whether it's in healthcare or not, you're like spiritual you know, do spiritual work or like you're thinking about getting into spiritual work or like you use your spirituality in order to get ahead in your career. But regardless, like, look, this right here is every bit of the nine of pentacles. This is that peacock energy. Like you just doing the damn thing. Like you are going to be very happy with what you do as far as like the money that you're able to bring in, like how you make money, how you bring in abundance. You, um, this is rich. This is rich. This is luxurious, right? This is like you, um, you are going to, um, be keep peacocking, proudful and being able to show it off because like, if you want to, if that's your thing, that's what you're going to be able to do. And then we have um, committed. Okay, this is like long-term uh, uh, stability, security here. This is like, this is, some of you, this is your life's work that you've been working on. Your life's work. This is, this is something, this is like a promotion, um, pay raise that is is job um long-term job security look your ships are coming in entrepreneur some of you may actually be an entrepreneur maybe you're working at home but look it says freedom and i literally heard spirit say financial freedom this is your reward this is what you deserve you deserve this look you are connected to the divine right that you you're also going to be like um uh, networking, maybe collaborating with people, but, uh, this is what I have for you guys. And I truly hope you enjoy the reading and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.